What's, What's up, up Fight fans? fans? Greetings from the Wrestleverse. I'm your host, Lexi. And Billy here. And it's time to take it, take to, the it to the ring. All right, guys. On this episode of WrestleCap, we'll be reviewing NXT UK. Yeah. I like NXT UK. This is a pretty good episode. Uh, so yeah, we'll get right I into it. it. It was, yeah, it, like you said, it started off uh, pretty funny. Uh, the <laughs> night, the first fight card of the night, we have uh, Sam Gradwell versus the Roach Kenny Williams. And this is uh, some beef that started because a couple weeks back, Gradwell kind of roughed them up backstage looking for a tag team partner. So now they're just handling it. Yeah, I had no idea that they even had beef until we talked about it. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, this makes sense because Yeah, he's kind of yanking out... on his ear. Yeah, Kenny comes out on, on crutches, right? And so they're like, oh my goodness, like, Kenny's not going to be able to be in tonight because he's injured, he can't fight. And I'm like, all right, like, that's weird that he'd still come out in crutches. And then management comes on screen and they're like, there's actually no record that he's injured. Um, <laughs> yeah, and the guy comes he's... on, he's so confused. <laughs> He's so confused, and he's like, actually, the only thing that is confirmed is that we're missing a pair of crutches. Yeah. So he's able to fight, and then, like, it just starts from there. Yeah, and it's funny, you know, uh, Kenny, his accent, it just it made me laugh. He's like, <laughs> oi, me leg. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But, yeah, I mean, uh, this this match, they, they went right into it, man. Um, nasty Irish whip. And then just kind of getting tossed around, you know, the, the roach ends up coming back with like this mean eye rake and then a big chop lock right to the back of the knee, trying to get that bigger opponent down. And then Kenny just starts uh, to bounce on Sam. He was like on the ropes. He's bouncing yeah. on him, you know, like he's a trampoline <laughs> or something. I was like so much for a broken leg, but um, yeah, right. Or whatever broken knee. Um, so, you know, Sam is like starting, he's like not really slowing down. He really starts to pick up the pace and we get like a really cool suplex from him, but yeah. then kicks, he like kicks out on a two count and like, Kenny's kind of like feeling it out. Like, you know, yeah. it starts off, it does start off really intense. You can definitely tell there is prior, you know, beef between the two of these guys, yeah, the way they were fighting. Whooping, man. Yeah. So he, he tried to, it was funny. At one point, Kenny tried to roll up the much larger opponent, Sam, but he was just too big and too strong. And he just like sat in and covered him. Yeah. And that's a great shot, man. He just like pulled in all the way and <laughs> folded that little skinny guy in half. Actually kind of looks dirty now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> I just realized that. But I mean, he regard. did hold that poor guy in half <laughs> and he took the win. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's hilarious. But um, after the match, Kenny attacks Sam with this like crunch and like beats yeah, him up. Just like, yeah. And like beats the crap out of him. Like, look at it. Like he uses like, you know, a crunch is not that it's not that heavy. But I mean, you can do some damage with yeah, it. Yeah, it's aluminum. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it has, you know, metal pieces on it, and it's pretty long. He was really just beating the crap out of him with that thing. <laughs> and, uh, but to make it worse, like, Kenny's like, all right, don't worry. He gets scissors. And yeah. he attacks, and he gets them, and he, like, cuts off his mohawk. And I was like, oh, my goodness. He Messed is not up. doing this. Dirty, and he's dirty. just, I expected him, you know, like, maybe to try to fight back but i feel like he kind of just let him cut his hair yeah he was pretty much out cold and yeah i mean the poor guy lost a little bit of hair he had left you know? yeah. <laughs> so kenny lost that match but he won the battle you know <laughs> he won <laughs> he came out on top of that and then backstage man gradwell was just pissed he was stomping through the hallways kicking doors yeah. down you know, trying to find Kenny and, you know, the roach ran away. He was gone. Nowhere to be found. Yeah, that was really crazy. I don't think I've seen a haircut in a match before. I think they least. call it a solar panel. I think the announcer is one of them called it that. A solar panel. <laughs> solar Interesting. Panel. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's his head. I don't know. I can imagine that, like, if, a if it happened in the girls, that's, like, serious drama. 
Yeah. Don't mess with girl's hair. Yeah, that <laughs> happened to somebody. I don't really? Know, but, yeah. Um, I wonder It'll who. hit me later. Anyway. All right. We'll look it yeah. up. If any of you guys know, let us know in the comments. But um, in the next fight card, we have Angel Hayes versus Amelia McKenzie. Mm -hmm. And um, Amelia is like a really good second generation wrestler. I mean, I personally have never seen Angel Hayes before. Yeah. Um, I am still new to NXT, but um, it was a really good match. These ladies start off really strong. Yeah, they get into this real nice hard lockup. And Hayes gets the first takedown and then goes right into a, uh, a nice cover real quick. But, you know, it's real early in the match. You kind of got to wear him down a little bit. And she kicked out. Yeah, but Hayes is really tough. Like, you can really tell she's mainly dominating and controlling the beginning of this match. And um, she's, like, controlling the explosive Amelia. I mean, yeah. I think, like, right before this, if I'm not mistaken, Amelia's the blonde one or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Amelia's the blonde one. In the, like, right before this match, one of them was saying, like, it's hard being a famous a daughter of a famous something. Yeah, yeah. A famous her dad's rock star famous. something. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, her dad's a famous wrestler. And oh, I was she, wondering. Yeah, so she's second generation. So the expectations are high. You know, it's it's a yeah. bloodline. So she has to come out and represent. And she's coming off of a couple losses. So yeah, she she had to come so... out. She she's looking good though. She's she's definitely getting a lot stronger and uh, in better shape. You know, she's leaning down yeah. a lot. She's getting real trim. You can definitely see her in her fighting weight. Yeah, and then Amelia gets a tight really tight headlock from behind and even bridges at one point. Oh, I mean, yeah. it was really amazing tactic that she used. And um, it, Hayes stuff. is not rolling elbow. It's like rolling out elbows. And it was, it was wild. And then we get a big splash in the corner. Um, I wish we would have gotten a picture of it, but it was kind of, it was epic, but it was really fast. This match was yeah. very high. It was like high paced, very fast. They, they they really did keep it going. The pace with these ladies yeah. was very um, well. It's high paced, you know. They they were yeah. quick. Like I said, I mean, Amelia is explosive. She knows how to bounce. Yeah, back. she really does. And um, Amelia hits this cutter and then deadlifts Hayes and goes right into a belly to belly takedown. And I just know that that's painful. That looked very painful. Yeah. I mean, she's really gaining control at this point. Um, it was but then impressive. She gets, yeah, it was really impressive to see the two of them. I feel like they're both like, I, it, there was no point that one, I was like, okay, this one's going to win or this one's going to win. It yeah. kind of kept going back and forth. Like you couldn't really tell what the end was going to look like because they both are really strong fighters and they, mm -hmm. yeah, it I was a really totally good agree. match. You yeah. know, Amelia, she was able to come in and finish up this match with like this big face down power slam. And just like yes. picks her up and slams her down. Look, that's a great picture. She's like, oh, God. And just <laughs> got smacked. She went right into a real deep cover with the leg and, and took the win. She earned that one. That was that was a good one. She did. She definitely did. And it was a really good match. I enjoyed it. I think it was my favorite one. I know I should save that for the end. But it was my favorite one of the, yeah. of the day. No, it was yeah. fun. I mean, it, was, it was a good yeah. match for sure. And we had that lame day familia um yeah. promo like in the, them in the apartment and timon talking about how you know i'd let the family down he lost against yeah. frazier but you guys jumped frazier in the parking lot you deserve losing uh, the whole uh, thing was pretty lame they're trying yeah. to be all dark you see that they're like in yeah. the apartment it was all this <laughs> stoic face from dempsey it's it cheesy <laughs> And um, moving on to the night match, the last, I think this was the last night, night fight card of the night. Or oh, second the next one, yeah. It was um, on the, yeah. And we've got Myla Grace versus Steve Turner. <laughs> Stevie. Stevie Turner. Yeah. I think that's, how, yeah, she spells it weird. <laughs> yeah. I didn't... But yeah, she's, uh, I've seen her before. I've seen Turner before. Um, she has a lot of talent, and she really needs to get the win. She's kind of, kind of finding herself still. She needs to find her win, uh, her form, and start getting some W's under her belt. Yeah, I mean, they the both matches. They both start out really like feeling each other a little bit, and then we get this like Turner um, from like, bam! It was a huge slap to Grace in the chest. I mean, it was 
her board dress was all red after and it was not it was not like a quick chop this was a hurtful was loud light. slap like it i'm was sure it hurt bad it had to have hurt her chest as much as it hurt her hand because yeah. uh, oh my goodness it was it was epic <laughs> I, I i felt it for sure then we go right into a yeah. great arm lock from grace and she's like really using the fundamentals and kind of her background you know but turner she came right back with like this big little cool pop-up frog splash right off the mat and just laid her laid her out i mean grace went down it was pretty cool it was really cool and then we get this like chin lock from behind and like turner keeps up the pace and gets the cover but only on a one count and like grace still got some power left at this point look at that's a really epic picture right there yeah she was cranking back lock. on that poor girl i mean yeah. she was putting up a big fight you know grace uh nails some really strong strikes in this match and then just starts screaming in the ring she's running around ah she's nuts yeah. <laughs> but then <laughs> she turner really she is. came around and she hit that great tornado ddt picture yes. perfect so impressive. it was amazing um, and then Grace gets a power slam and then sits into cover, pulling her leg back and takes the win at this point. These yeah. girls did not back down. I think this was also another great match. And there was a, a lot of sound effects in this Yeah, match. they were noisy. They were beating they were the crap very, out of each other. Noisy. <laughs> I was like, it oh my God, because I had it on. My mom was in the, the living room as I was playing this. And it was really loud. She's like, what are you watching? I'm like, it's like, <laughs> it's wrestling. It's <laughs> She's like, they're really loud. Uh, well, no worse than tennis. Tennis is just <laughs> as noisy. Oh my God. Uh, tennis is I mean, really good for crazy. Turner. You know, I, I think she yeah. did really well. You know, we might get to see her and Amale coming up here pretty soon. We'll see. I know she's fighting for that spot. Amale's a big up and comer. She's a beast. We saw her last week. The yes, uh, French girl. She's good. She went up against uh, Nina, I think her name yeah. is. Nina Samuels. Yes. Um, all right. And now for the main event, we've got to see Irish um, Ace Jordan Devlin versus Wolfgang. Yeah, that guy's a beast. And these guys have yeah. been building up for a while. You know, uh, Dallas, the, the tag team uh, that they have with yeah. the Coffee Brothers and Wolfgang. Um, they've been kind of bullying Devlin back for backstage for a long time, all kinds of antics, you know, stealing his yeah. jackets and stretching them out, you know, his glasses. He got his glasses back. He uh he beat, came up from behind yeah. and took them back. <laughs> so that was pretty good. And that's why we have yeah, this we, match. Yeah, I mean that it showed this was for something. I mean, last week they took over the like supernova show and they like just mocked Devlin the entire show. Poor guy. I mean, so they did not waste any time going at it. Um, clearly, there's tension between the two of them. And uh, Wolfgang showed just how strong he is. And man, he's just a mean looking guy. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he, he's he's pretty stout. That's not a guy I'd want to get in a bar fight with. You know, no, on the outside of the scary. ring. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, Wolfgang, he throws Devlin into the into the railing. I mean, he just like picked up. That's a great shot. Yes. Picked him up and just slammed him over the railing. And I guess they're shut back down over uh, over in London again because there's nobody really? in the audience. We still heard some noises. I think it's like just yeah. background stuff that they do, which does help because when it's quiet, it's it's not as not as fun to watch. Um, but I, I don't know. I like the crowd. The UK crowd's a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, it's kind of I sad can't not remember. Seeing was the crowd there last week? I don't know if I noticed because the this background noise that they put in is really deceiving. Yeah, I didn't notice I it until that match. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, because hmm. I think I started watching NXT just, I think, like in the past month, maybe even less than that. And I don't remember there being an audience, but I thought it was just always like that. So that's uh, crazy. Nah, I kind of well, remember see old... maybe it was a few weeks back because Lady J and I, we did a review, a wrestle cap on one. And we were talking yeah. about the the drunk uh, UK guys just like, oi, <laughs> and doing their chants and singing and stuff. That's <laughs> crazy. It's a fun crowd. Yeah, I bet. So hopefully they do go back to that. But back to this match. Yeah. Um, we are back in the ring. We see Devlin and he tries to get this like stunner off the ropes. But massive Wolf game catches him 
And I mean, he's just no match for him at this point. <laughs> he like then lifts him straight into this vertical suplex. He is like literally the Hulk so <laughs> version. So strong. The guy is impressive. Human. Yeah. You know, and Devlin's he's really having a hard time um throughout this whole match. You know, Wolfgang's much larger, but Devlin's in great shape. You know, he's taking a beating and he's hanging in there. He's trying to dish it out, but he's he's just having a hard time in this one. Yeah, that was very clear. And like the last signals match um, Wolfgang had in October. Um, I don't know. I don't think I was watching him at that point. Um, yeah, I mean, he was looking good. You want to know it's been that long since he's been in the yeah. ring. You know, he's, he it's was been, looking good out there. That's like what? With him. That's like uh, like four months, five months. That's, that's, that's quite a, a big while. deal. You know, these guys yeah. need to stay moving and stay in the ring. Your body's just not used to it. You know, those guys that are on the road doing this all the time, that's why they can do it because they're doing yeah. it all the time. If you leave and come back, you're just not used to it. But, um, you know, Devlin, he gets a, an opening outside of the ring and he just throws oh, yeah. Wolfgang into the corner post <laughs> and he hits his shoulder. And it, it, from there on out, his shoulder was messed up for the rest of the match. That, that really did yeah. him in. You can tell it kind of affected him a little bit not much but you can tell that it was something that bothered him it was very clear that was painful yeah, like he hit it hard i mean that was a great hard. little counter from devlin he rolled off of his yeah. backs because he was about to get bent through that rail he was gonna just like <laughs> end him around it so good thing he slipped out yeah but that, that was a game changer and then Devlin said in this like nice arm lock bending Wolfgang's arm all the way backwards. And now Devlin gets his second win, even with the arm and everything and yeah. punishes Wolfgang. He's like, I'm going to have my revenge at this point. <laughs> he was just popping him and kicking yes. him and running up. I mean, Wolfgang was kind of dazed and he took full advantage. I mean, wow, the huge Wolfgang, he did, he does a moonsault off of the second rope. So impressive yeah. from a big guy. But Devlin saw it coming. He got his knees up, man, and Wolfgang ate oh. it. He felt that one. Yeah, that looked also very painful. This whole match is like, ooh, ee. Uh, <laughs> it's not really painful. But, um, it was a good one. Yeah, Devlin, man, transitions into this, like, arm bar. But Wolfgang was able to somehow get to the ropes with this, like, spinning body slam outside in. It was kind of crazy. <laughs> Yeah, he got out, and so he, he did. I don't know. I don't even know what you would call that. I yeah. mean, I saw that, too. So he was outside, and he spins like this and lands right on top of Wolfgang. Cool stuff, man. Was this, was a, this was a crazy match. I mean, that, that time. what about, like, Wolfgang when he threw him out? Like, he did that little backwards somersault, yeah. and he went <laughs> yeah. over the ropes and just, like, fell out and hit the railing. It was, it was either... <laughs> sheer strength or like the yeah. biggest overacting <laughs> you know that's like true worse than I couldn't LeBron tell. On a foul. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you know Devlin tried to like time out but Wolf game you know hits him with this like sliding back sent in and oof he just he had no chance <laughs> yeah then they start trading punches just beating the crap out of each other and Devlin starts to run the ropes but he eats this massive spear and just goes down hard and like Wolfgang, yeah. he gets his uh, his shoulder hurt from the post, you know, like we were talking about. He can barely even get the cover and he missed his opportunity on that one. He really did. And then Wolfgang, somehow he's able to spring to the top yeah. post. I don't know where he's able to get this energy from, honestly. Like the these two were started off so high energy and there wasn't a point where there was too much like calming down in the match that's the best way i can explain they yeah. really were like aggressive with one another so i don't know where he got the energy to somehow get to the top rope devlin runs to him stops yeah. him at the top and nails this great spanish fly to the massive wolf gang somehow so crazy <laughs> so impressive yes. it really shows how strong that guy is and then devlin he follows up with that great 450 after does like that yes. front flip <laughs> that's a lot of inertia and then just comes down on him um this was just one hell of a match he gets his cover after that one he gets the win and he he earned that one devlin earned it he definitely earned it it was a great match i think they they all were but this one also was like very high energy there was definitely tension between the two of them so that always makes yeah. it fun 
And um, hopefully he can get more respect in the locker room from the Coffee Brothers now. And, um, you know, both men just seem completely done after this <laughs> yeah, match. They were like, they were beat. They were beat. Out. <laughs> That's like, like the, just... to see Wolfgang, a big guy like that, have such a big tank and go that long with a very yeah. fast paced match is impressive. That was a good match. It was a great match. And um, as you guys know, on Take It to the Ring, we like to give each fight card a rating. So five is Fight Forever. Then we got four. This is awesome. We've got three, which is You Still Got It. And then the two is like, what? One is boring. (laughs) Worst of all. Don't even bother watching it. We're way better. And we're way better. But um, if you like what you see here, please take a moment to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, of course. So what would you give this episode, Lexi? Um, huh. I'm trying to think. Definitely a three and a half, almost four. I'm leaning towards a four, though. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a good episode. Uh, this is a little bit better than the last couple weeks. But still not the the best, not as far as like UK. I've I've seen some really yeah. impressive stuff over there. So I'm um, I'm a little bit I'm gonna give it a solid three. Um, a little bit closer to like the two, but it was still a good episode. Fight fans, definitely check that one out. I mean the yeah, we got to see a little bit of a build up. Um, we're gonna see Frazier. He's moving on. Yeah. Hopefully going up against uh, Dragonoff. We might see that the current champion. That'd be a yes. great match. Um, he just beat Devlin a couple weeks back. Uh, back in that crazy like prison match where he's like zip tied behind him and <laughs> leaped and got a he covered Devlin uh dragon off while his hands were zip tied behind him like it Insane. was it was it was a crazy match um Absolutely definitely crazy. check that one out I think I've talked about that one a couple times but yeah. yeah that's I think it was a great episode I think it was and I like that we kind of got a little bit of I think that beginning was funny like it just it made me laugh um because you know knowing that they have like that drama before and like of all the comebacks or like that you can do against somebody that you have beef with you're gonna pretend that you're injured and then you're gonna get called out like (laughs) i'd be so embarrassed you know other than his personality uh (laughs) kenny's uh he's a really good wrestler you know if he wasn't such a such a douche really you know i think the roach (laughs) is a good nickname for him he he lives up to it yeah he's got a lot of talent um i just He's just one of those. I mean, he's he's supposed to be a bad guy. You're not supposed to like him. So I guess yeah. that means he's good at his job. He's doing but... what he's supposed to. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, make sure you check out our sweet merch. We have uh, yeah. I got the Keep It Lucha. This is a sweet shirt. It's one of my favorites. Um, and the coffee mugs are cool, too. Yeah, we have a bunch of new um, Fight Kitties merch, too. That's on the nice. website. Um, I think we'll be wearing soon. I haven't gotten very cool. mine yet, but um, yeah, very I cool. I love the Fight so... logo. Oh, it's thank so you. Cool. I think it's very yeah. cool. I think it's yeah, very cool. that seems like and, something um, you could wear anywhere, you know? Yeah, and the little animations, I think, like, our segments are also into, um, they are made into merch. So very cool. the more you know. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, if you guys want to see some more WrestleCat videos, be sure to click the link down below. Yep. And until next time, it's Billy here. And I'm Lexi. Bye, guys.